Okay, so we're just getting ready to test the 6G5 in my tube tester. 6.3. 6.3. You always want to make sure you get the uh, filament voltage right on your tube tester, along with other things. But you know, if you test like a 50C5 and you leave your tester set at 50, it's not too hard to overlook that and plug a 6 volt tube in and watch the heater go like a light bulb. Which I think I've done that, come to think of it. Okay, so JR. JR 5403 with a zero. 5403 with a zero. Uh, Nothing on either of these two settings. It would be bias and English. Press P4. I should stay open. So the first one we'll test, we'll, we'll test the one that was in the radio. See the heater. Oh, there's no glow at all on that. Let's check the settings here. Because I we, we saw this one glowing. Five four zero oh, three. Five four. O three with a zero P four. Okay, so you can't you can't see anything until you push the test button. You can't see much even then. You barely see it coming on there. Okay, so that's open. And it certainly is open. And now I just change two settings. 5423. 5423. Change one setting. And now the eye should close. Oh, it's closed! In fact, it's more than closed. It's it's overdone. Here, let's have a closer look. So it's overlapping. It's dull, though, isn't it? But you know what that tells me? That tells me the problem is not in the tube. It's in the radio. But this this tube's definitely weak. So the story is there's something going on in this radio, or more, more correctly, there's something not going on in this radio. There's no signal reaching the grid of the Magic Eye tube. Wow, now. How, 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 how? <laughs> how am I supposed to figure this one out? Because we saw the grid voltage in the radio, and that's the AVC voltage, and the wire is connected directly to that same point that we were measuring and seeing 10, 15, like negative 10, negative 15 volts. So it's on the end of the wire. And the wire goes straight up to the eye and into the socket. It 
we then tested the resistance of the resistor. That resistor uh, is not involved in the signal itself. The signal just goes to the grid. Well, what if it's a, just a badly connected wire in the socket? Not terribly likely. Um, maybe I just wiggle the wires in the back of the socket. If it's a bad connection, it'll make and break. And maybe that'll give us a hint as to what uh, what's going on. So I think we'll turn the radio back on. I still have the bright, older eye in there. So we'll, we'll take a look at it, and I'll wiggle the socket wires a little bit, and see what we can make happen. I'm not very hopeful on this, but okay, quick safety check. Everything looks good. We'll go back to reading the ABC voltage here on my meter. set. There we go. This time I have the rectifier tube plugged in too. There comes a bit of green. And I've got the radio on restricted supply voltage so it's, it's not going to be terribly uh, bright kind of like me. In fact, you know what, I can I can keep it on restriction, but I can give it a little better, a little less restriction there. And you can hear the tone. Now, let's verify once again that the magic eye does not respond. So I will tune through here. Watching the ABC voltage, wow, there's not much to it. What happened? Oh, scale. There we are, that's a little better. Okay, I'm talking to myself because you're not seeing this, but I'm watching the ABC voltage. It's uh, seven and a half right now. And as we tune across, it goes through about minus 13 zero change on that meter. Nothing at all. On the eye, rather. Nothing at all. Okay. So we'll, we'll tune in. Okay, we got 13 negative volts. Now I will very carefully wiggle some wires back here. Let's keep our eye on the whole thing, because at any moment not totally comfortable grabbing onto old high voltage wires so I'm going to raise my comfort level a little bit here I'm just putting on a chintzy little uh, rubber glove as you can see here okay here we go You should be able to figure out which wire is the uh, grid wire, too. Okay, so we, the grid wire is the wire with the yellowish, the, the most yellow, the most yellow on it. Okay. Well, it's one of these two, so I'm going to grab one of these and really give it a good shove and tug here. I want to 
move the eye much because it makes it hard to tell what's going on. Nothing happening. Let's try the other one now. Nothing. That's a real mystery. I'll have to pull the tube out and observe the uh, EDC signal on the pin in the socket. So let's uh, let's shut the set off. Pull the tube out. Boy, by the time I, I finish this, these wires will be shot. And so far, they've stood up pretty good. But uh, okay, set on. Double check the ABC voltage here. Kind of see it; it's a little out of view on the camera now. There we are. Way up there at 13 volts. This is on the 15 volt scale, so it's up high. So we got lots of signal, lots of voltage. Now, which pin is the right pin to check? And that would be pin number three. So I'm gonna disconnect this lead. You'll see the meter drop. Okay. And now, I'm not wanting to touch any high voltage stuff, and my meter is gonna slap. In fact, let me set it to the 50 volt scale. So if I hit the proper pin, this meter will go upscale, about, about this far. If I hit the wrong pin, the meter will slam backwards. Because we're hunting for a negative voltage. Now, I shouldn't hit the wrong pin though. One, two, three. Here we go. This is pin number three. Son of a gun. You guys didn't see that, did you? I'm standing right in front of the meter, but uh, it went the wrong way. It went the wrong way. I'm not counting right. Hmm. Okay, so there it is in what I would call pin number four. So I've been I've been counting these pins wrong. Pin number one, two, three, I call that four. Three, two. And four. Okay, something's really messed up here. And I bet it's me. What's going on? I'm stumped. I'm finding the ABC voltage in the wrong pin. How can that possibly be? How can that possibly be? The only way it can be is I'm making some kind of mistake here. That has to be what's happening. I'm squeezing my head while I said that, by the way. Okay. Squeezing my head to try to get better thoughts going in there. Well, let's just start and go around one pin at a time. A little diagram here. So, the heaters are pin numbers 1 and 6. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Hey, 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 back up the boat. I counted the pins backwards. I'm so used to looking at the bottom of the sockets from underneath the radios that I often forget when I'm looking from the top, I have to number them the other way around. Okay, so let, let's back up the bus and check the resistor again because uh, it may have boobed up that measurement. Okay, good. See? 
Me. <laughs> yes. It's good to be full of self-doubt. As long as you're not paralyzed. If you're paralyzed by self-doubt, you're in trouble. But if it just makes you very cautious, then it's a good thing. Okay, we can test the resistance on that. Um, even if there's a little voltage left in the radio, charge, char a little charge left in the radio, because it has nothing to do with this resistor. So we're looking at the resistance between pins 2 and 4 when counted properly. So I wonder what I was measuring before that gave me almost the right measurement. <laughs> That's another thing. You know what? There's, there's one thing worse in this world from doing a little arithmetic or doing some work like this and getting a wrong answer because you made a mistake. The worst thing is getting the right answer when you've made a mistake. That's bad news. I have to think about that. Maybe. Okay. Or as my uh, one of my electronics teachers uh, told us one day in class, he held up a voltmeter, just like my voltmeter here. He held up in front of us and he said, "You know what's wrong with these meters?" And uh, okay, we start throwing out wild guesses and low input and peak. Like, no, you know what's wrong with these meters? They always give you a reading. And that got us all looking at each other in the uh, in our classroom. What is he talking about? And what he was talking about is you got to be really careful in doing all these tests that you're doing everything right because the meter will always give you a number. It's up to you to know for sure if that number is even uh, correct. Okay, anyway, enough, enough of that. Eulogizing. Now, let me show you the... get this view on so you can see the meter, the old meter. And counting now. Pin 1, 2, three and four. One, two, three, and four, and look at that. Okay, we're getting an open circuit now. Am I really getting a reading here? We'll poke around the other pins. We should not see anything at any point except between pins two and four. One, two, three, four. Open resistor. Okay, so we know the problem now. We know the problem. I could have known it earlier if I hadn't made that little mistake. And then we wouldn't have had all that fun tracking it down. So, unfortunately, I have to go into the uh, into the uh, socket. So. Uh, I don't think I want to do it leaning over the radio. And I'm one step away from changing all those wires again. Ah. Man. Okay, I'm going to have to set the radio up to do this work. I can't do it on this angle here. 